In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us a way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who by your ineffable mercy have been pleased through the labors of your priest, Junipero, uh, Saint Junipero Serra, to count many American peoples within your church, grant by his intercession that we may so join our hearts to you in love as to carry always and everywhere before all people the image of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feasts, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept, nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water and goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people, and I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. For mine are all the animals of the forests, beasts by the thousand on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stirs in the plains belongs to me. If I were hungry, should I not tell you? For mine are the world and its fullness. I, if I were hungry, I should not tell you. For mine are the world and its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is the blood of goats my drink? Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline? and cast my words behind you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Father willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? 
Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swine herds ran away. And when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Thereupon, the whole town came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. This is a very peculiar ending to um, this gospel passage wherein our Lord shows his divine power. Even the demons acknowledge him as the son of God. And um, uh, and so uh, they, they go and they beg him to leave their district. It seems that they were content, maybe even in sacrificing others who would become possessed or, or fall prey to the demons. They were content uh, with that uh, and everything rather than having the Lord sort of stir things up, so to speak, uh, what necessarily has to happen in order for them to come to liberation, to make uh, decisions to reject things to which perhaps they were attached and were not ready to let go. They did not see and recognize in Jesus uh, the great windfall that he was offering and bringing to them. They did not put their faith in him. And this is uh, probably one of the worst outcomes of any of, our Lord, any of the events reported in the Gospels. Um, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Junipero Serra, who was the apostle um, to California. Um, he uh, was a priest from Spain, a Franciscan, who in, the time, um, in, that, in that time frame, um, it was during the uh, uh, suppression of the Jesuits, and so the Franciscans kind of filled the void in taking on missionary activity. He went, he traveled from Spain by boat and uh, disembarked at Veracruz in Mexico and then walked uh, all the way from Veracruz to Mexico City. And on his travels there, he was stung by some sort of an asp and it caused a significant um, injury and infection. And he never recovered from that. He walked with a limp for the rest of his life. He spent some time in Mexico City uh, to recover. And then he walked from Mexico City to the Baja Peninsula where he uh, ministered. And then he went all the way up um, the coast um, into California and uh, was the founder of so many of those uh, great missions along California. And the way that those missions were named is... um, you know, we arrived at a place, and, and it was uh, a feast day of uh, Our Lady of the Angels, for example. Um, Regina Angelorum in Latin, Nuestra, Nuestra Señora de los Ángeles in Spanish. So that's how Los Angeles got its name. They shortened it to Los Ángeles. Sacramento, the feast of the body and blood of Christ, the Blessed Sacrament. Santa Barbara. San Diego, etc., uh, named after all of these uh, great saints. And um, I think it's very appropriate and important that we celebrate his feast day today, especially in light of uh, the acts of these people who are haters and um, uh, who uh, are godless and who are trying to, they're anarchists and communists and they're trying to advance a uh, narrative 
that uh, is a big lie. And they're trying to say that Junipero Serra was part of, uh, you know, um, the oppression of the indigenous people and stealing from them their culture, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, um, it w he was um, following this serious command of our Lord, go forth and teach all nations all that I have commanded you, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He brought enlightenment to people, the true light of Jesus Christ. He brought civilizing ways that gave protection to and defense to women and to the unborn. He brought a, ho a holy way of life, a life of reverence and faith, rejecting demons and false idols, coming to the one true God who is the creator and Lord of all. He brought uh, the gifts uh, of God to a people, and in any case where there were uh, Spanish soldiers and so forth who would be abusive, he stood in the way and protected them. The grave insult that's being done, these acts of desecration are diabolical, and they're part of a diabolical plot and a lie. It is not unlike what we have described here in this gospel passage, that uh, the Lord comes, and he throws out the demons. And um, the, the demons uh, go into the swine, and the people beg him to leave because they're happier with their demons. How horrible is that? And that's, that's what's happening. It is very commendable that Archbishop Cordelion um, went out to this particular place where uh, St. Junipero's statue was torn down and he led a rosary and other prayers, including an exorcism, um, uh, and denounced these acts of hatred and bigotry. Uh, these same people who say that Junipero Serra was part of what brought policing into uh, our society. Well, God, the one true God is the God who brings order out of chaos. The evil one is the one who foments chaos and this kind of destructive uh, impulse that uh, ultimately denies people their rights and breaks down any and all basis for human dignity. And so we should be praying intensely because the same people who are pushing that are also pushing and calling people to uh, break out stained glass windows that depict a white Jesus and a white Mary and to tear down statues of Jesus and Mary that are white. And when I was confronted by someone who, who asked me, when they come and break out our windows, am I going to pray to the white Jesus or the black Jesus? I said, I'm going to pray to the one and only Jesus who was a Jew, who lived in Palestine. There is the reality of the historical incarnate person of Jesus Christ. And any reasonable person knows and understands that every culture in the world, in his universal church, and the church has always supported this, that they have uh, depicted in iconography, in sacred art, in statues, in stained glass, etc., representations of Jesus that look like them. Because the message is, God came to take human flesh to dwell among us as one of us, true God and true man. It's not about racism. It's about the unity of God with the human race. And the offer of mercy and the means of reconciliation that he gives to us. I'm so grateful in, uh, in, uh, to Almighty God. You know, for example, our parish, we have 
uh, we, we are um, sort of a, a, a miniature uh, United Nations here. We have all the different racial representations and a vast array of cultural backgrounds and so forth. We don't have divisions. We care about one another. Because what we come here for is not uh, to be ensconced in some sort of special socioeconomic group. We come here as a people of God to love and worship the one true God. We come to live in the freedom of the sons and daughters of God and to respect one another and, and pray for one another and care for each other and help each other. That is one of the key elements of our life as Catholics. At the same time, we acknowledge the fact that there are differences that are very obvious to see. It's ridiculous to act and pretend as if there aren't differences. But we acknowledge those differences and we respect and care for each other because we are called to Christian perfection in charity and to live together as an instruction to the world of what is possible when Christians love one another and love God. Junipero Serra loved God and he placed his life at the service of all people. He is not harmed by these insults. He is beholding the beatific vision in heaven. But there are people who are being led astray with the false narrative, the lies, and the acts of bigotry, of racism, and of uh, intolerance for the truth. And these things must be answered. And they must be answered with courage and faith. And so we do that with our prayers. We pray for the repentance and conversion of all people. We pray for our enemies. We pray for our persecutors. And we try to live as though we didn't have enemies because we are God's people and we are in his arms and we have confidence in his love for us. And we want to live in the freedom of the children of God, giving witness to him with our faith. And so we, we pray that the Lord deliver us from all the evils that are showing themselves. We rebuke the demons in the name of Jesus Christ, and we send them to the foot of the cross of Christ where the Lord's saving power is shown in its most compelling manifestation. Please stand. Let us pray for the universal church. We may always be sustained by the Holy Spirit uh, in living and serving the wondrous love of God and the care of our neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our nation and our leaders. We pray for our people that we may be united as one nation under the one true God. We pray to the Lord. For an end to the horrible scourge of abortion, the work such a diabolical act that is um, uh, so, so zealously uh, supported um, by those who uh, have separated themselves from God and from humanity. We pray to the Lord. 
We pray for the sick and the suffering. We pray for those who uh, are under the affliction of demons and of the affliction of entrapment and sin, that they may experience uh, liberation from such things and remain in the embrace of Almighty God and Holy Mother Church. We pray to the Lord. We pray for uh, the souls in purgatory, that they may be brought to behold the face of God in the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear these petitions and grant all that we need through your Son and our saving Lord, Jesus Christ. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of blessed Junipero Serra, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, his assisting Bishop George, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blast to those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Junipero Serra never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince St. Michael, chief and commander of the heavenly hosts, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the divine king, and our admirable conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence, and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Father, I abandon myself into your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, O Lord. Into your hands I commend my soul. I offer it to you with all the love of my heart. For I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself, to surrender myself in your hands without reserve and with boundless confidence, for you are my Father. Vouchsafe to hear us, O God, our only salvation, and through the intercession of the glorious and blessed Mary, Mother of God and ever-Virgin, thy blessed martyr Sebastian, and of all the saints, deliver thy people from the terrors of thy wrath and restore their confidence by the outpouring of thy compassion. Be moved to pity, O Lord, at our earnest entreaties, and heal the illnesses of body and soul, so that experiencing thy forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in thy blessing. We beseech thee, O Lord, grant us a hearing as we devoutly raise our petitions to thee, and graciously turn away the epidemic of plague which afflicts us, so that mortal hearts may recognize that these scourges proceed from thine indignation and cease only when thou art moved to mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prosit. Deo gratias. <laughs>